What's up Babylonians, it's me Songs of Raids and today we're bringing our first guide of several that are going to be coming for Remnant 2. Now me personally, I'm absolutely loving this game but this guide specifically is going to be how to get your hands on one of the first rings you can possibly get and this is going to be the Lithic Signet. This one is hidden behind a little kind of like puzzle. Once you've managed to solve the puzzle you're able to grab hold of this and you do get to encounter a ridiculously hard enemy to be able to get some extra kind of like resources to help you out with your early on crafting. If you enjoy this type of guide, if you enjoy this type of series and you want to see more from us from Remnant 2, then make sure to drop that like and subscribe. It just really the hell helps the channel out and it lets us know that you're interested in seeing more. But without further ado, what are we waiting for? Let's get right into the guide. Alright, so to be able to get access to the area you need for this kind of puzzle, what you need to do is head yourself over to the Twisted Chantry. Now, this is one of the first couple of areas that you will be encountering in the game. Uh, so, after you've managed to get hold of the Worldstone, after you've managed to complete the tutorial, you'll head yourself through, manage to find your way to the Twisted Chantry. Now, all you need to be able to do is head straight down this corridor. This will make it manage to take you so you then have a right-hand turn, and you'll be fighting some enemies pretty much when you get to this right-hand turn, so make sure you dispatch with those as quickly as possible. Now after you've managed to dispatch all the enemies in the area, you'll come across this kind of like a courtroom with multiple stairs and several sta four statues in the middle. Uh, and this puzzle is relatively simple. All you need to be able to do is you see where these blue areas are on the face. Just one bullet into this will pop that glass and you need to be able to do it for two, two statues on either side. So once you've popped these two, head yourself over to the other side, pop open these two. And what this will do is it will then open up the floor in the middle and it will reveal a hidden staircase. Once you go down this staircase, it will take you to a lift. Stand in the middle of this lift it will activate and it will drop you all the way down. Once you've caught this lift down all you need to be able to do is head yourself over to the other side of the room. There is a book that you can interact with to get a little bit of a lore kind of like story wise. It doesn't really unlock anything for you but you can feel free to read it and then there will be a chest and opening up this chest will drop the lithic signet. Lithic Signet in of itself will be able to reduce the amount of damage that is incoming to yourself by 5%, which on a whole isn't very much, but to be honest with yourself, the majority of things that are in this game are only giving yourself minor boost, so ways to be able to reduce the amount of damage that's incoming means that you will be able to survive a little bit longer when it comes to firefights. And while that is technically it on the guide, there is actually another secret here in terms of there is a hidden enemy in the room with you, so you've got to be careful of that. On the way out, you will notice that they'll have moved. There will be a health bar that will then quickly disappear, and that's because one of the statues is actually alive. If you've ever watched something like Doctor Who and you know how the Weeping Angels work and they only move when you're not looking at them, this is pretty much the same kind of scenario. Uh, and so basically, as soon as your camera is not looking at this enemy, they will start moving, and then as soon as you move your camera back to them, they will have a very small window where their blue eye is visible and you can actually land some shots. Basically just whittling their health down by the, through several means or several methods of doing this over and over again will pretty much get the kill and they will drop some extra resources for you but they will also drop you some relic fragments which is quite nice and will give you some early boost right there to your character. So that is it on the guide. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you picked up the Lithic Signet? Did you manage to find this early on? Because I thought it was quite a nice introduction to the puzzles that Remnant 2 has. And don't worry, there will be plenty more videos to come for on this channel, including build videos as well. So massive thank you for making way to the end of the video. Massive thank you to the Babylonian family. And as always, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well. And I'll see you all on our next video.